their respective characters, you know, it's it's scary. It is, but one thing that keeps me personally coming back to Zeno Ooh. is you never know. <laughs> He's on a, yeah, he warmed yeah, up. Okay. <laughs> He's right. ready. We got another Zap Classic, the Luigi coming out, and this is going to be a matchup for the books, to say the least. Look at all this pressure. This is so interesting. Keeping the combo going, but missing the biggest hit that mattered the most. Zamba going to answer back with a really big string. Ooh. Yeah, and Zamba's no stranger to the, the Luigi matchup, the Luigi's right. you know shenanigans that could happen. You know, we have Guy Guy in our own backyard in Long Island, I believe. I want to say it came out today, but yeah, regardless, yeah. yep. We, we have Guy Guy, and this is definitely nothing new for him. Zamba knows if I get Luigi offstage, if I get that nice back here at a nice percentage, we're going to be seeking that nice secure uh, momentum going for ourselves. Yeah, and we saw that comfortability come in. Zamba looking so very smooth with the edge guard and all that extended pressure. And even on the stage, too, not getting caught up in these combos or getting a little, you know, not getting too worried about it. Down throw into the down special. Gonna not do it yet, but surprise. No. Next one probably do it. Not quite yet, but I do see it going very sour for Zamba if we don't get that back which he definitely does. Gives him a lot more positioning, uh, repositioning opportunities that he's definitely going to be abusing by taking that center stage positioning under that little platform as a little, like, you know, a little protection, a little bit of a house situation. Yeah. Yeah. House is a good word for it. I love a little house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little roof. Ooh, the dash attack from Luigi, generally not a move that you want to see as a Luigi fan, but somehow uh, it all worked out. Zap trying to even up the stocks. Looking for an opening, but Zamba just not messing with it at all. No, I don't think we want to deal with the Luigi at high rage. You're, you, you yourself are such a low percentage that any combo you're going to just fall right into, right into, right into with the, with the low trajectory. Ooh, okay. Love the idea, but we die. Ooh, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Um, so that's a very different Luigi combo than we're used to seeing. Uh, that is a little more, you know, par for the course. Backs are going to be huge here. Trying to even it up. Such a hard situation for Luigi, but the misfire surely will help. Unbelievable. That's so much damage, too. 34? I okay, know. crazy. Could be a huge one. punish? Absolutely. Able to run back in time, you know, gliding over as Rob mm. and getting that up smash very easily on that platform. <gasps> but look at Zap! Hello! Ooh. Such a big pickup from such a little hit. I was worried that that was the stock. Zamba on the back foot, dodging into the ground and putting a shield up too. Oh my goodness, what a big change of pace just from that straight footstool. Ooh. Absolutely, and this could go either way. Zap is still <gasps> mostly untouched, and then boom, the fingies! Oh. Done! <laughs> I love that move. So I haven't seen that move in a very long time. I that forgot was, Luigi had yeah, that move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like such a Smash 4 classic. That's the Poyo right at the ledge too. Boom. Oh, yup. I I thought they even changed the animation on that. Zamba thinking, uh, wait, that's what that Smash looks like? <laughs> like oh wait, <laughs> that move exists still? That's crazy because I, I, I he's shaking his head in disbelief. Yeah. <laughs> In that situation too, I was like, what does Luigi do? Like, how do you, you know, punish optimally? Like, it's, it's kind of risky to go for like the up special and hope that you get the right hitbox, etc. But I guess I forgot he had F smash. <laughs> <laughs> forgot it does that much knockback. Just forgot it, ha it has its ridiculous angle on it. Yeah, I forget yeah. it, ha it, it does that knockback. It, I just forgot. But, Didn't know it existed. I only ever see up smash, truly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great way to get reminded though. Zap. Shut me up real quick. I was talking about how Zamba's the favorite, and sure, that game may not have been the smoothest from Zamba. Still, Zap looked so very comfortable in the situations where it mattered. Oh, okay, hold on, though. Zamba. Oh, the reversal? The conversion of all conversions was not Zap's favor, but Zamba found the hit, reversed it, and just side the off ledge, and guess what? You were in the blast zone. Goodbye. Yep. Get out. Literally, get out of my house. And what? The presence of mind, too. Just commit immediately. So many right options for Zamba. Really good stuff. Gonna have some hard time landing here, but that Nair is gonna help. All of a sudden, the reversal, setting up shop in the house. Ooh, and that gyro, so rough for Luigi too in terms of horizontal movement. Yikes, this is, uh, this might just be it. Oh, you're off stage for a little Ooh. bit too long, but Zama missing not one, but two back airs. His bread and butter, his specialty, not able to take out the second stock relatively easily like he did the first stock, but that is a Whoa. charge of us smash. Ooh, nice on Zap for being aware of the situation and getting out of it as fast as possible. Trying to answer back with another big punish. The up smash, though, getting shielded, and the back are going to open up the stage for Zamba. Rough spot for Zap, and not going to make it back. Unfortunately, as good as that recovery can be, it's pretty bad in that situation. Good reversal, though. Nice pickup. Zap has been hitting those back airs, too. 
Oh, absolutely. Zap has been hitting a lot of great things on Zamba, and I think the, the biggest factor is you are playing Rob. And joke out of the way, yes, Rob is big. Rob is going to fall so easily into that uh, that grab range, into these down airs as well, to the grab. Again, it's all these things adding up all together as a big buy like that, but at the same time, you're Lily Rob. True. You're Lily Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, though. Oh, okay. Really interesting air dodge working out for Zamba, going to the ledge instead of trying to just air dodge into the ground. Zap trying to put the pressure on with these grabs, but Zama's spacing is so good. It's just outside of grab range, and the patience, too, has been phenomenal. Waiting out those Cyclones. Ooh, nice. I think we heard the startup of Up B there getting beat by the jab. Yeah, I believe so. Rob not one to, you know, be a stranger to boxing. Mm. Taking the trade in favor of Zamba, and actually positioning on the ledge, waiting for the recovery option from Zap. Nice tech into the Up B. All right, we cool. Okay. We good, and we're not good. We go right into the Up Air, and yes, Gonna be enough to go over to a game three in a really heated, heated run back. Yeah, that was a very different game, though. I think even barring the footstool kerfuffle in game <laughs> one, it still looked like a pretty good game for Zap. That was a totally different story, though. Zamba looks so comfortable. Almost like the first game didn't even happen. That reversal in the first stock in game two, yep. phenomenal. It was almost the Zap show, but Zamba said sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. I'm taking over. I'm Rob. I need <laughs> my run back, actually. And then it was kind of just a continuation of that. The edge guards were just phenomenal. Not to say that Zamba wasn't doing very well with those same edge guards in game one. I just think the opportunities were fewer and further between. But here we go. Game three, going to be right back on Smashville. Anyone's game. And it all comes down to kind of this first opening. Absolutely. My biggest thing about, about these kind of matchups is who can get their opportunity to Guess I mean, started and again, a repeat of game one. Missing that that, that uh, game-changing hit is going to be what sends Zamba likely into that uh, that reversal of dominance and right. having to maintain stage control. And just like that, now we're pretty much even game once more. And this, it's so interesting, too, because like you could basically say that that whole stock was because of that slight miss from the up special. It was just a very extended edge guard that Zap was stuck in, all because of, of you know a very small drop at the end of the combo. And Zamba was just so very good at taking advantage and taking all of the advantage he could with that small opening. And look, it just keeps going. It keeps going and going and going. These Cyclones are not doing wonders for Zap on this platform. It allows Zamba to wait there, poke it out a little bit with Cyclone, see what he can punish with, and then maintain that synergy control, right. which he is doing phenomenally. Missing the downer on that up recovery, though, but it's okay. We still have Zap off stage. Now what can Zap do? Roll in, and we are safe. I'd be lying. Right. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, though. Finally, some action happening. Zap was pretty excited to get that grab, but the fact that the stock was not taken kind of took the wind out of the sails. Back here, not doing it either, and this is looking pretty rough. Zamba definitely taking the time to stall out, slow down the pace a little bit. It's only beneficial for Zamba to kind of take it slower, but finally, that patience not working out. Zap finding the opening, and it's Luigi. Every commentator said it before, probably keep saying it, but anything can happen Truly. If, if Zap can make it back. I like that gyro up throw, very smart. I love these gyros on ledges. I know Zamba always does it, Air Drop always does it. It's just a great uh, backup option if you know they're able to get around it. Ooh. It's just working so wonderfully, and look at this. It, it keeps Zap off stage even longer, it forces him to essentially to have no resources. Exactly. And we saw some really creative use there, too, from Zap. Did not matter. Zamba had pretty much every option scouted. Back throw into the Nair into the side special. It's going to be rough. You're going to need a big hit here. I like that idea, but still right back into the arms of Rob with the back throw set up for another back-to-back to back edge guard. You saw Zap having to wait on a ledge for a little bit too long, and it, it he has not been able to come back to stage no matter what. This gyro has been the biggest thorn in his backside, and unfortunately, coupled with that is that strong downer on the attempt at a mix-up of his recovery, and it was just not working. Speaking we of mix-up, we had a little bit, a little rock paper scissors there. Ended up with a handshake though. <laughs> Good stuff. Solid showing from Zap, and what a run through the bracket. Definitely one of the newer faces at Zeno, but hopefully. A veteran in the making, and there it is. We see. Oh, interesting. The left hand is that. Is that like creation? You think <laughs> Zamba, is. like Zamba is God and Zap is Adam? They have the touch index, uh, yeah, index yeah. fingers, and, <laughs> and then, and like, then no, Zamba no, pulls no, it back. No. Like, oh, what's going you. on here? Oh, my fault, my fault. There yeah, we go. Right. That's the creation. But I do want to talk about that. The adaptation from Zamba because he was ready for the left hand shake. <laughs> 
<laughs> this, that's real time top right, player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think I'm crazy? No, no. Real time top player adaptation in game and out of game. Exactly. That's just the Zamba difference, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing stuff. And there it is. Another wonderful replay. And we got that run back that we were talking about before. It is going to be winner's finals, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Again. Uh, slight upset, if I'm not mistaken.